Well, we got another day of me filming the introduction uh, after I've done what I've done today. So, we got rained out for a good portion of today. I didn't even really get a chance to work on this until much later in the afternoon. Um, got it on, it went pretty well. So, you guys will see for yourselves. Um, stay tuned, enjoy it, and uh, I'll catch you on the other side of it. A little windy here guys but uh, in the spirit of honesty and full disclosure Captain Stupid Mistake look at that beautiful fit Captain Stupid Mistake is struck again isn't that nice well let me back off here I was expected today well, this is the other end of that I think you guys could tell what went wrong with this joint Captain Stupid Mistake decided that he wasn't going to run a string line on this like he should have, and Captain Stupid Mistake knows better. So what Captain Stupid Mistake is going to do now, Captain Stupid Mistake is going to run a string line from that pulse to the other one. We're going to level it off. I'm going to pull this top plate off and uh, recut that post. So. Not sure where I got off, probably in the measurement from the tie beam up, seeing as how the floor is still level. So, a little bit of a snag, but not a big deal. But you know what? I don't mind these little mistakes, even though that little mistake led to, uh, led to that. But these little mistakes just make you so much better at what you're doing. It, it makes you so much more cautious about the next one you do. So, when I spend about three or four hours to correct this, you know what? That's my own fault, and uh, I'm going to have fun doing it. It's just one more challenge, so stay tuned.
I know it's windy guys, so I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to uh, hear me, but uh, anybody up for a little bit of uh, a little bit of duct tape and uh, <laughs> ourselves a little modified uh, pipe clamp here. So we're going to see how this works, because uh, I'm going to be honest with you, this top plate is on here kind of tight. I probably should have known when it was going on that hard that uh, I had an issue, but you live and learn. So let me grab another piece of blocking here. So how this is going to work, this is going to go against, it's going to sit on top of the uh, outside girt there that's at the top level of the tie beams. Then I had to take the handle off and grind that square. So we're going to use a big crescent wrench or a, well shit, it's only like a 10 inch crescent wrench. And we're going to try to screw it up just to slowly lift this guy off of here. Because like I said, she's on there kind of hard. You know, in the grand scheme of things, this isn't a huge deal, but it kind of makes it a bigger deal when it happened because you just weren't doing the things that you should have been doing. Uh, of course, that's too damn long. What's the worst that could happen, right? Say no, you stupid bastard! Quit asking questions like that, and the worst wouldn't happen. Okay. Now, put this under under here. I kind of hope this works well. There we go. And guys, I do not enjoy making mistakes. It all seems kind of... Some of you wonder why I take it so calmly sometimes. The way I look at it, I don't like to make them, but you know, I do enjoy figuring out creative ways to fix them. Because sometimes that's half of this, half of anything you do is just... You screw up, the best carpenters in the world know how to cover up their mistakes. They can think of creative things and creative ways to fix them. Hey, did you guys hear that? Well, I've never tried this before, I just went into the shop and kind of worked this out. I got looking around seeing how the hell am I going to get this thing off of there. Like I said, it went on a little hard, a little harder than it should have. Well, we got a new trick up our sleeves, don't we? You guys wondering yet why my wife lets me out of the house without my helmet on? I wonder that myself about every day. It's a little labor intensive, but you know what guys, it's not costing my back a dime. Guys, you think this is a winner?
Well, we're getting a little dark for the camera again, guys. Um, so, another stupid mistake I've made in the course of this frame. What are you going to do, though? You just got to fix it. I can uh, sit here and complain, but it's my own fault for skipping steps that I know better than to skip. So, best advice I could give you guys, you know, you go to throw your top plates on if you've made a mistake in your wall post heights. Really, if you've made a mistake in much of anything on that outside wall, your top plates are going to show it. So, I was not expecting that. I had to actually uh, drop that three quarters of an inch. I actually cut the tenon down three quarters of an inch and I have to lower my brace housings or my mortises and housings for the braces for that post three quarters of an inch so not a big deal I'm probably gonna have three or four hours into it fixing it by the time I'm done but uh, I'm gonna shut the camera off now because like I said it's getting too dark to run it and I really don't feel like digging out all the work lights and trying to get those set up so I'm just gonna get it fixed and when we come back for the next segment I'll show you guys the repair and how it fits afterwards. So, anyway, I could, you guys know what I'm going to be doing for a little while yet. So, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the next time or on the next one. And uh, so, if you like her, feel free to subscribe, like, share, whatever you feel like doing. I'll see you guys later. I couldn't leave you guys hanging like that. There's after the repair. Now, go back down. Sorry guys, it's very dark out. But, I'm going to have a spot there I'm not going to be happy with forever. But, like I said, I had to lower that guy three quarters of an inch. So, it's on there decent. Got a little touch bit of a gap right there. Pound it down a little more, but probably the brace is hitting. So, but, she is perfectly level now. So, there we go, a little PS moment, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.